Margarita is here and I would like to discuss today a book that I actually finished, uh, God is Not Great by Christopher Hitchens. I recommend this book to everyone and uh, I would like to say that Christopher Hitchens is such an intelligent man. Um, he's brilliant he's, and this book is tremendous and I would recommend to read it to everyone. Um, this book is a little bit hard to read in the beginning because it's so there's so much information it's filled with information uh, with many stories it's very dense uh, to say that he makes a very strong case that religion is man-made and not God-made and um, basically uh, I would like to say if there is a God um, it's definitely not the God that interferes with human affairs and listens to all our thoughts and tells us you go to hell you go to heaven uh, I listen to all your thoughts I'm gonna write it down it's not that kind of God if God exists, um, because if if according to the Bible, if God is all good and all great and and hears every thought and knows everything, what kind of God would allow an earthquake to strike in Haiti and for two hundred thousand innocent people to die? So, I mean, if I was God and I knew about it and I I could stop it and I had all the power, I would. I would never allow, allow that to happen. Christopher Hitchens makes a very strong uh, case that religion is man-made. And also, um, he uh, makes it, uh, a, he also inspired me to listen to the voice of reason and listen to the mind and to inquire about things and um, never leave mind behind the door. You know, uh, for example, uh, a lot of times when people go to meditation, there's like a sign that says, leave your mind and the shoes at the door. So Christopher Hitchens says, never leave your mind and reason at the door always bring it with you always question it doesn't matter you know whether it's Buddhism it doesn't matter whether you know it's Eckhart Tolle which like I'm reading his book right now New Earth um, and I question everything he says and I disagree with a lot of things your reason and your intellect and your mind is a thing that you can actually trust more than you can trust religion and faith and what Eckhart Tolle says so um, so that's my point so you do have to question everything and also I would like to talk about one of the spiritual leaders that Christopher Hitchens talks about his name is Asha and you probably know him he has a lot of videos on YouTube he is not alive anymore but um, I would like to he's from India and I would like to talk about him um, um, so the guru I'm gonna read a passage from Christopher Hitchens book the guru in question was named Bhagwan Sri Rajnesh Bhagwan simply means God or godly and Sri means holy. He was a man with a huge soulful eyes and bewitching smile and a natural, if somewhat dirty, sense of humor. His sibilant voice usually deployed through a low volume microphone at early morning. Darsham caused a faintly hypnotic quality. Well, he had the Osho, had a lot of uh, followers and uh, some of his followers included distant family of royal uh, of royal British family and um, distant members of the royal British family and uh, Osho encouraged all of his followers to get rid of the material possessions uh, however he himself had a lot of material possessions and uh, in fact he himself uh, had a largest collection in the world of Rolls Royce motor cars um, also one of his um, Followers, earlier followers, eventually uh, made a movie in secret about Asha, and actually he, um, there was, uh, it's called Ashram, Wolgan Zubrovny's film called Ashram, which shot in secret by a former devotee, and in a representative scene, a young woman is stripped naked and surrounded by men who bark at her, drawing attention to all her physical and psychic shortcomings, until she is object with tears and apologies. At this point, she's hugged and embraced and comforted and told that she now has a family. Sobbing with masochistic relief, she humbly enters the tribe. It was not absolutely clear what she had to do in order to be given her clothes back, but I did hear some believable and ugly testimony on this point. In other sessions involving men, things were rough enough for bones to be broken and lives lost. So in Osher's meditation session, some people lost their lives and broke their bones. And um, so anyway, it's not good. Um, and then eventually he ran away and then he um, he basically reincarnated as Osha. He changed his name to Osha 
And uh, Christopher Hitchens says that the sleep of reason brings uh, forth monsters. So you always have to question things. Um, um, the search uh, for nirvana and the dissolution of the intellect goes on. And whenever it is tried, it produces a Kool-Aid effect in the real world. Uh, even Eckhart Tolle in his book, uh, New Earth, he says, mistrust your mind, mistrust your intellect. But I think that's the only thing that you have that you actually... I'm not saying you should trust it completely, but you should work it. Never leave it at the door. And uh, trust the, your reason. Uh, trust your inquiry. Always seek for the truth. Never give up.